With our victory in November, the years of war, weakness, and chaos will be over. I don't have wars. I had no wars other than ISIS, which I defeated, but that was a war that was started. We had no wars. I could stop wars with a telephone call. I could stop wars with just a telephone call. If properly stated, it would never start. We will replenish our military and build an Iron Dome missile defense system to ensure that no enemy can strike our homeland. And this great Iron Dome will be built entirely in the USA. We're going to build it in the USA. And Wisconsin, Wisconsin, just like I gave you that massive ship contract, and you're doing a very nice job, Governor Wright. Thank you, Governor. And they're doing a great job. In fact, I had a little design change, and we gave them a tremendous for essentially what we used to call destroyers. These are now the most beautiful. They look like yachts. I said, we have to take the bow, and we have to make it a little nicer and a little point at the top instead of a flat nose. And the people at the shipyard said, this guy sort of knows what he's doing. We have the most beautiful ships, right, Governor? And everybody's sitting over there. And it was a big contract that everybody wanted. I gave it to Wisconsin, but we're going to have a lot of that built right here in the state of Wisconsin and all other states. Israel has an Iron Dome. They have a missile defense system. 342 missiles were shot into Israel, and only one got through a little bit. It was badly wounded. It fell to the ground, but most of them are. And Ronald Reagan wanted this many years ago, but we really didn't have the technology many years ago. Remember, they called it Starship, Spaceship, anything to mock him. But he was a very good president, very, very good. But now we have unbelievable technology. And why should other countries have this and we don't? No, no, we're going to build an Iron Dome over our country, and we're going to be sure that nothing can come and harm our people. And again, from an economic development standpoint, we're going to make it all right here. No more sending it out to other countries in order to help. It's America first. America first. We will unleash the power of American innovation. And as we do, we will soon be on the verge of finding the cures to cancer, Alzheimer's disease, and many other diseases. We're going to get to the bottom of it. You remember this gentleman that I don't want to mention other than one time I had to, because when you say you're the 10 worst, I had to do it. I didn't want anybody to be confused. But this man said, we're going to find the cure to cancer. Nothing happened. We're going to get to the cure for cancer and Alzheimer's and so many other things. We're so close to doing something great. But we need a leader that will let it be done. We will not have men playing in women's sports. That will end immediately. And we will restore and renovate our nation's once great cities, making them safe, clean, and beautiful again. And that includes our nation's capital, which is a Horrible killing field. So many things. They leave from Wisconsin. They go to look at the Washington Monument. They end up getting stabbed, killed, or shot. We will be very soon very proud of our capital. Again, Washington, D.C.